When you're using 90 Second Website Builder to design your website or your web page, there's a function or a feature that you're going to want to use often. It's called Preview. You'll often hear me say, I'm going to press the F5 button because that's a shortcut on the keyboard to bring up this feature called Preview. What Preview does is it gives you sort of a live preview of the page. In other words, it opens up your work inside a browser. When you're working in 90 Second Website Builder, you're not working in a web browser. A web browser is software that opens up web pages online and offline. But 90 Second Website Builder is not a browser. It's the design software. So to preview it in a browser, the way it's going to look on the web, is what you want to do while you're building your page. So for example, let's look at a page that I'm working on. I'm going to move the camera over so you can see more of what I'm designing. So this is a web page that has a lot of objects on it that I want to see the functionality of in a web browser. For example, I have some objects on this page that don't actually show until they're in a web browser and until the user scrolls down and then they pop up. So you'll notice down in this layer where I have this sort of keyboard background, I actually have some objects that are hidden. I've hidden them in my object manager and I've created some events that are noted by these bookmarks here or these anchors so that when people scroll down to this part of the page, these objects will appear. Well, that's just an example of something I have to preview. I can't see that functionality or that animation, if you will, just by looking at it in the canvas. I want to test it and I don't want to necessarily publish it to the web server yet. I just want to see it in a browser offline. So that's what the preview feature does. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Like I said, you could press F5. And unless your computer's using F5 for something else at the time, um, you can press F5. Or you can go up here and press the preview button. Preview in browser. The other way is to go to file and preview in browser. And we can go that way. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to simply press F5. That's the way I prefer to do it. It's faster for me. The software is now generating this single web page so that I can preview it in the browser of my choice. By the way, I've told the software I want to use Firefox, so that's the browser that's opened up. So here we are looking at my website in a Firefox browser, and I can see what my carousel is doing. I can watch the slideshow. If I scroll down here, you can see those images and those layers that pop into place. I want to see how they look. And so as I'm designing my website, I kind of test it as I go by clicking F5 just to see what things look like. There's some things I'm not going to be able to test because there are certain things that have to be online, like PHP forms or things that rely on a server. In that event, I'd want to publish the page and test it there. But for most things, I can at least look at it offline, if you will, through a browser just to see what it looks like. You can see that this page is offline because it's being stored locally on my computer. In fact, if you look at the address bar, it's not an HTTP because that would be the internet. I'm looking at a file on my local C drive stored in this path. The software has generated this page and put it into a folder called preview in my temp folder. You don't need to know all that. I'm just pointing that out to show you that this is a local file. Now, even though the file is local, even though the page is local, there are some things on this page that point to other websites. And since I'm naturally logged into the internet all the time, those things do come up. So for example, this is a YouTube video and I can click on it and press it and watch it and see what it's going to do on my website because my computer's connected to the internet even though this page isn't yet uploaded to the internet. I hope that makes sense. I'm just looking at the functionality of my page offline to see how my slideshows work and how my events are triggered and whatnot. One of the things you're going to wonder, because people do, is if this is true, can I then click on these links and go and preview these pages? Well, the answer is yes and no. And there's a very good reason for that. Right now, it's no, because I chose to just simply preview this one page. And typically, that's what I do. If I wanted to preview other pages, I can tell the software to do that. And if I do, then I can test my links. However, let's talk a little bit about that. I'm going to close this browser, go back to the canvas. And I want to take you to another setting up here, where it says File preview and browser, you'll notice that there is an option that says preview entire website. Now, while I can choose to do that, it's important to know what happens when I do. I happen to be working with a website in this project that's very large, over 100 pages. And so if I do this, if I click this and enable that option, and you can see that it's enabled, if we go to file, preview and browser, you'll notice that it's highlighted. It wasn't highlighted before, it was clear. Right now, it's enabled 
which means that if I preview my work or click F5, what's going to happen is the software is going to generate my entire website offline and store it in a temporary folder. Now that's not bad, except that I happen to be working with a really large website. So if I leave that checked on, I'm going to have to preview my entire website, which means I'm going to wait for it to generate. So if I press F5 right now, watch what happens. You can see that it's generating a lot of pages. And since there's going to be too many for us to wait for, I'm going to actually cancel out of this because I don't want to wait for it to preview the entire website. So what I do typically is I go up to File, Preview in Browser, and I select this again to turn it off. This is what it looks like when it's turned off. Notice that that icon is no longer highlighted. And that's the default setting and what I would recommend. Unless you do want to really preview your entire website, which you can do. I just would recommend doing that once in a while, especially if you're working with a smaller website, it wouldn't matter. But again, large websites, it just means you're going to have to wait a while for that preview to come up. I find it just fine to preview one page at a time. And then if I really want to do the full test, of course, we'll want to publish to a server and check all of the links and check all of the functionality like forms and other things that need to be online anyway. So one of the things you'll notice is this feature that says default browser. In other words, I'm just telling the software again to preview my website in my default browser and I decide what that is. So when I was clicking F5 or clicking the preview button, it's the same as going up to this default browser. I'm saying, please preview this in my default browser. So how do you decide what your default browser is? Well, that's what this is. Edit browser list. You can decide what browsers you want to add or remove. And you would do that here. You click the add button and then you would go find on your computer's file system what browser you want to use. I've chosen Firefox in this case, but you can add Chrome or whatever you want to use or multiple browsers if you want, which is probably a good idea, especially Firefox and Chrome because those are the most common. You would do that here. Here, so that when you go to preview, it's going to choose the default one and you'll be telling the software which one it is. Pretty simple stuff. But anyway, it's important to know that you can preview your work as you go. It is an important part of the design process. So if you really want to see what the page is going to look like, previewing really helps, especially when it comes to seeing how things are centered and how responsive the page is going to be. That's a good way to do it. Let me show you one quick thing because I'm creating a, a website or a web page that's pretty interactive. So I'm going to preview just this page. And here's a good example of something I can't see while I'm just working in the canvas mode or the design mode. I have to actually see it in a browser to see how this is going to work. And that's this. I made this kind of cool feature so that when the user clicks on the Get Started Now button, it pops open with a layer and a form. Well, I need to be in a browser to see how this actually works. And then I can test it here. I click this button and it hides the form. So in order for me to see how that's going to look, I needed to preview. Just an example of why you want to know how to use the preview function in 90 Second Website Builder.